So I found my old Pokemon card binder, and it's actually the second take I'm doing because my last recording I accidentally stopped midway through for some reason. Um, but... Yeah, I found, um... That Dark Charmeleon, I remember that. That's like one of my, that was one of my favorite cards. Well, a 70 in that Fireball, though. The old R for Rocket, I think. I think it was like early 2000s, I probably stopped collecting these. There's the Japanese Pikachu there. Got some of the oldest starters here. Um, there's another Japanese Pikachu there. I think that was Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu in the first page. I don't remember too much or, actually, or even where I got these. Also, this Magnemite also has an R. It might be only the evolved forms were dark forms. Maybe it was just R for that set. Let's see, I'm just... This stack here is pretty thick. And I found out why. I've got a bunch of neater and females for some reason. Um... Oh, there's the two. I think it's like the second printer or something. I don't, remember, I don't remember what this little symbol here means. On the back, it's got a couple of meows, but one with the uh, the gold gold trim. I don't remember what that means. Keep going through here. So some nice cards and Japanese uh, prime ape. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these cards end at Gen two, so definitely became definitely before Ruby and Sapphire came out. Dark Persian. That Dark Golduck art is pretty badass, actually. Let's see. Anything else interesting here? Drowsy, huh? This is a little bit... Hang on, let me just... There. <laughs> yeah, the old CGI Ghastly and Haunter cards. I'm not sure what that was about. Kind of skim through these unless something interesting comes up. Primaris, you do go. That one's got a fossil symbol. I don't remember what the fossil symbol means. Dark Radicate's kind of cool. Kind of. Interesting Charmander, it's kind of cute. That Dark Dog Trio, oh dear. Uh, someone's bedroom is screwed. Why did I put the Merrimack before the cube? I don't know. It's a long time ago. I don't care. Japanese Venonat. I really don't remember where I got the Japanese cards from. Let's see if there's always about to fall on my lap. Dark Rapid Edge. It's cool art. Rocket Diglett. Kind of cute. <laughs> CGI Gloom. It's kind of funny how somebody's just randomly CGI. That Duality art's pretty cool. Like randomly CGI while, um... Those cards were hand drawn. Ain't that Kakuna? A palm. Was that Gen 2? I guess it was. I guess it's been a while since I played it. That coughing art's kind of great. The magic art is actually really good art. That Weedle, too, actually. I like that Squirtle as well. That action do duo. CGI oddish, fun. I thought I had a dark war total. That's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Cloister, looking like something else. Sorry, I went to. Hey, this Venusaur is holographic. I don't know if I can show that off in the video. It's not really coming through very well. But you can trust me when I say that it's holographic and it's got the two on it. Okay, you can kind of see. Yeah. Zubat, everyone's favorite. That Ponyta, I really like that Ponyta art. Getting to the end here, another Ekans with a fossil symbol with a Golbat too. A little Dorb. Dark Magnets, a Dark Machamp, and this one's holographic. It's like holographic on top of holographic, that's neat. Look at these slow pokes. Look at that Japanese Dodrio. What is Puff the Magic Dottini? Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I deface that card? In Japanese Oddish and Bellsprout. Why did I do this? What the fuck? Do I have, a, do I have an alternate Dottini in here to make up for it? What? No? Okay. Anyway, Seeking, Psyduck. 
checking out Magikarp, Venonat, Bellsprout, Japanese Paris. Japanese Lucky Tongue is kind of cool. Japanese Eevee, Dark Flareon, Dark Vaporeon Art. It doesn't look very dark. <laughs> dark Electrode, he's still just a ball. That Mankey Art's pretty great. Time Capsule. Your opponent may choose five basic Pokemon, Evolution, and or basic Energy cards in his or her discard pile. Oh, I see, it's like time travel. The boss's way. Uh huh. Well, that was interesting. You can play a fucking gym card. Pokeball. Some energy cards. Full heal energy. If you play this card from your hand, a Pokemon may attach it to it. It too is no longer asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. Full energy provides energy. It doesn't count as a basic energy card. Interesting. And that would be it. This looks like... Uh, some random crossword puzzle. Interesting. You have a look there if you want. And pause it. And I saw this earlier. This blank sheet of paper. No, I saw... Homework. Uh, some Time Magazine cover? It's like, oh, it's Time Kids. Remember Time Kids? I certainly didn't. This is neat. I might look over this later. Deadly Winds! Oh, dear. Long Tall Dino. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that was a cool little time capsule. <sighs> I love this card. So, yeah. Um, cool stuff.